Hi guys, Barmy for Spurred on. This is my match review after Tottenham Hotspur 3, Bournemouth 0. Uh, we've just done about what feels like about 50 fan cams. Everyone's so positive, so excited. We got a goal after 44, 45 seconds from Harry Kane. Beautiful. It's just a beautiful move, actually. If you haven't seen it yet, um, definitely watch it tonight on Match of the Day 2. I'll talk you through it, though. Hugo Lloris with a lovely pass. I give him enough stick about his distribution sometimes, so I will give him props that he might play a lovely pass out to uh, out to Carl Walker. Carl Walker made a lovely run uh, down the wing, took the defenders out, uh, dragged them outside towards him, and then put in a beautiful cross. And again, I will say, I've thought Carl Walker is a poor cross of the ball, but in the last couple of weeks, he has really improved. He's been cutting it back well, and today he played a lovely ball in between the defence and the goalkeeper, and Harry Kane got his foot onto the end of it. 44 seconds, ruined Leicester's game plan, as some of the people in the fan cams have said. That's absolutely right. And from there... We got the second one, I think, after about 15 minutes. Harry Kane again with a beautiful left foot finish from a, a slide rule, perfectly weighted Deli Alley pass. And uh, I, I will say, you know, there are enough players in the Premier League who don't are not strong on both feet. But Harry Kane, never afraid to take it on his left foot and a beautiful, beautiful finish into the bottom right hand corner. And from there, you know, someone said it, but it's true. It felt a bit more like a friendly game then. I think Bournemouth didn't really want to, they, they played a bit better second half, but they didn't really want to overexert themselves. They knew the game was gone. And Spurs, you knew, they knew that they had a few players on bookings and got bigger fish to fry, bigger games coming along, international break, then Liverpool away and Man United at home. Uh, got a third from a, a Harry Kane shot, he was going for his hat-trick and Arthur Boric spilled it. Uh, Christian Eriksen pop, uh, popped it in. Uh, I, I think it was Christian Eriksen, it was, I was actually in um, the East Stand and I was blocked by the pole, but uh, I'm pretty sure it was Christian Eriksen. Um, so 3-0, excellent professional performance. I was, you know, again, worried that there might be some complacency before the game, but this team totally, totally brings it every time. When we play that first 11, and I do think when we have that first 11, maybe with Jan back when he comes in, you know, it's it's negligible between Jan and, and Kevin Vimmer, I think, both brilliant players. But if we play our first 11, we keep injuries and suspensions away for the last seven games of the season, I do think we will be there or thereabouts. I really do. I don't think Leicester are going to win every game. I don't think Spurs will win every game. I've got, in my predictions, I've got Liverpool uh, away to be a draw. So anything more than that would be a bonus for me in the next game. But I have to say as well in my predictions, I had Palace to get a draw against Leicester on Saturday and they didn't. So, you know, no one can predict what's going to happen in this league. It's been crazy all season. But the key is, when it comes to it, when it comes to the big games, we have done incredibly well so far, other than maybe the Leicester at home game here. So that gives me a lot of confidence with them going to Anfield next. It won't be easy. Jurgen Klopp's a great manager, but hopefully that they've had some confidence knocked out of them today by being 2-0 up at Southampton, losing 3-2. And also Southampton have got Leicester next. Uh, let's really hope that they can somehow get some kind of result against them there. But massively important today as well behind us because uh, we needed to keep that six point uh, level between us and Woolwich behind us and uh, of course I'm pretty sure that Man United beat Man City at the Etihad so it's all closed up in that top four but let's fight for it let's guarantee that Champions League football then look up and try and win that championship like I've said if we're there or thereabouts in the last three games things could get very interesting anyway guys let me know what you thought of my match review let me know what you thought of the game uh, and who really impressed you in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV come on you Spurs <laughs>